Ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure to participate in this online international conference on women in industry and innovation. I want to thank the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, the Government of Italy, the Food and Agriculture Organization, and the United Nations Women for organizing this landmark conference. This meeting comes in a very important moment. We are experiencing a systematic changes in the global economy. At the same time, women are disproportionately affected by COVID-19 pandemic. Government should seize this opportunity to implement better policies, and doing so should include efforts to integrate and empower the half of the world's population that has always been discriminated against enhancing their innovation skills, their access to capital, and all their entrepreneurship opportunities. If women and men around the world participated equally as entrepreneurs, global GDP could ultimately rise by approximately 3% to 6% according to the Boston Consulting Group. In Latin America, for example, female labor income contributes in a 30% of the reduction of extreme poverty. Creating opportunities for women is worth it. Three key areas of international economy are being challenged. First, the degree of fragmentation and the length of the value chains. Second, the geographical spread of value added. And third, the government, governance choices of multinational enterprises. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take this opportunity to enter or to intensify participation in global value chains. Countries will need to increase their investment promotion efforts. Additionally, countries will need to address the technological challenges arising from the fourth industrial revolution. Why not empower women in these areas? Women are at a relative disadvantage compared to men due to economic and social constraints. If we do nothing to protect the productive life of women, the result will be devastating. Women have less access to technology worldwide. 60% of women in developing countries don't have access to new technologies. In Colombia, for example, 19% of women between 15 and 49 years old have not overcome the digital gap and this is double in the case of rural women. For this reason, our government is working to close this gap, empowering women in the use and appropriation of uh, technologies of information. This initiative is called for a TIC Mujer. It aims to promote technology among women as a means to overcome poverty and strengthen women's entrepreneurships. We are also working in uh, these uh, kind of houses of uh, mujeres empoderadas, houses to promote uh, this empower of women in the uh, rural areas and also in the small and medium-sized uh, cities and municipalities. In these houses, we are working in order to give uh, training for women in IT and we are also working in order to uh, close this technological gap uh, for women. So we are very focused not only in the large cities like Bogotá, Medellín or Cali, but also in small and medium-sized uh, cities. Second, we have a smaller proportion of women uh, who have these STEM skills that I mentioned be uh, before previously. The OECD data shows that only 11.9% of women worldwide enter a STEAM career versus 28.5% of men. It means a big gap. Since the pandemic is accelerating digital transformation, this will result in more women losing their jobs as they are less prepared for this uh, transformation. Last year, in my office, in the vice presidency, and also with a, a partnership with our uh, secretary of uh, women equality in Colombia, we led this Wisdom International mission in Colombia. 
uh, with the key recommendations for action regarding the need to scale up programs to attract more women into these STEAM careers. Third, uh, women are about half as likely as men to begin new companies. They are more likely to work in non-capital intensive sectors with lower potential for generating a high income. Ladies and gentlemen, there are 24 million women in the country representing 51% of our entire population. Nine million women were employed at the end of 2019. Of these women, 5.4 million work in these uh, sectors which are very sensitive, which are very risky because of the pandemic. But more than that, there are so many women working in informal conditions. And we have set out the goal for the next two years of accompanying at least a million, one million female to become entrepreneurs in the process of creating sustainable, scalable and profitable business that contribute to job creation in our country. The objective is to coordinate all government portfolios and the private sector initiatives towards concrete actions that create formal jobs and provide stability to women entrepreneurs and their employees. Last June 4th, this strategy was launched and for the first time in history under my leadership and of course with the president's support, in adherence to the guidelines formulated by the Presidential Council of Equality for Women in Colombia, we create this trust to promote this financial support and technical assistance to support entrepreneurship and business formalization for women in Colombia. It will support working women, women-owned companies, and entrepreneurial new initiatives of women. It is necessary for countries and the multilateral and financial international organizations, the regional integration groups, and the international organizations competent in the field of development and labor to join forces aimed to promote entrepreneurship among vulnerable women through initiatives such as building capacity in ICT, managerial and specific to sectors of production of goods and services where a, a, there is a, a greater female participation. Second, the introduction of product services from companies led by women in productive clusters or in global value chains. Uh, rewarding companies led by women, uh, we are working very much in order to increase their participation in public procurement. And also all this formalization of employment for women is uh, for us a clear priority. Investing in women and respecting their human rights is the best way to lift communities, companies and countries and to achieve this 2030 uh, agenda for sustainable development. The longer we put off gender equality, the more we lose. Uh, these are just a few examples of the commitment of the Colombian government to women's economic empowerment. Through these actions, we say to Colombian women, we mean it. And now, which will be uh, your contribution to empower uh, women in the industry and innovation? I think this is a question that all of you have to do every single day. Thank you very much.